Okay, so we'll um, begin our meeting um, acknowledging the traditional owners of the land that we are um, zooming in from tonight. I'm on Warramai land. Um, we pay our respect to elders past, present, and we celebrate the stories, culture, and traditions of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander elders of of all the communities that we're zooming in from and all over this continent. Thank you. Oh my God, oh my God, unto the hearts of thy servants and reveal to them thy great purpose. May they follow thy commandments and abide in thy law. Help them all, God, in their endeavor and grant them strength to serve thee. O oh God, lead them not to themselves, but guide their steps by the light of thy knowledge and cheer their hearts by thy love. Verily, thou art their helper, their law, and their Lord. Baha'u'llah. 
say, say no man can attain his true station except through his justice. No power can exist except through unity. No welfare and no well-being can be attained except through consultation. Baha'u'llah. Be united, speak in harmony. Let your minds apprehend alike. Common be your prayer. Common be the end of your assembly. Common be your resolution. Common be your deliberations. Alike be your feelings. Unified be your hearts. Common be your intentions. Perfect be your unity. Rig Veda. There came other messengers from Galilee with their clothes rent who reported on this voice and said all Galilee of the Gentiles and assembled together against us to consume us. Now when Judas and the people heard these words, <coughs> they are assembled a great congregation together to consult what they should do for their brethren that were in trouble and assaulted of them. It broke a real apocrypha. Let the women live in Edath in the same style as they live according to your means. Annoy them not so as to restrict them. And if they carry life in their wounds, then spend your substance on them until they deliver their burden. And if they suckle your offspring, give them their recompense and take mutual counsel together according to what is just and reasonable. The Quran, Yusuf Ali. The great being says, the heaven of divine wisdom is illumined with the two luminaries of consultation and compassion. Take ye counsel together in all matters, in as much as consultation is the lamp of guidance which leadeth the way and is the bestower of understanding. Baha'u'llah. Consultation bestoweth greater awareness and transmuteth conjecture into certitude. It is a shining light which in a dark world leadeth the way and guideth. For everything there is and will continue to be a station of perfection and maturity. The maturity of the gift of understanding is made manifest through consultation. Settle all things, both great and small, by the consultation. Without prior consultation, take no important step in your own personal affairs. Concern yourselves with one another. Help along one another's projects and plans. Grieve over one another. Let none in the whole country go in need. Befriend one another until you become as a single body. One and all. Abdullah The prime the requisite, the prime requisite for them that take counsel together are purity of motive, radiance of spirit, detachment from all else save God, 
attraction to his divine fragrances, humility and loneliness amongst his loved ones, patience and long su suffering in difficulties and servitude to his exalted threshold. Should they be graciously aided to acquire these attributes, victory from the unseen kingdom of Baha'u'llah be vouchsafed to them.
Thank you. Now, maybe we can take turn to share our thoughts as to how, how we have been having this, what is our experience or what's our thoughts, uh, what can we change and um, any improvements um, for this forum. So in the same order, uh, Marina, you had to unmute. <laughs> In the same order, we can start speaking. <laughs> no, no, no. no, I was just wondering, um, uh, Perry, how have you been finding it to get speakers for this? Are you able to find or do you know them? How difficult it is or not? I don't know anything about it. Well, um, um, are they from some of the interfaith groups or you know from close contacts or? Now, some some uh, uh, people that I I know uh, I have been in contact with them, but some are completely unknown to me. But uh, I I sometimes uh, look for on the Facebook I look for people who have similar interests or organizations like interfaith or whatever it is. So um, then, if I find they are they are very in the same line of thought or they want to make a change in the world, then I send them a message saying that I'm so-and-so, we have this such a meeting and whether they will be able to, I always, I always ask them, can you uh, give a talk on a topic that you are passionate about and that mm -hmm. you want to see for you? I get the same thing. And uh, some of them um, they very willingly uh, come forward. So the the Ruth Ruth Abner from Nigeria was one like that. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Um, who else? And the, and the Prabhu from Sri Lanka. I, I also I met him through the Facebook before, but um, I asked him. I have never met him personally. Um, and um, the Mandan um, high priest, Professor Nasaraya, um, I wanted to get someone from Mandan um, uh, religion, so I went into the internet and also on Facebook and find there was a group and there was one awful uh, young chap, so I sent him a message and then he, after a while, he responded and then he introduced uh, Professor to come and talk. But uh, um, it is it is very. Um, it looks like a long process you go through. <laughs> of course, uh, yes, there are a lot of correspondence. So by the time mm. I ask in, uh, say maybe I would have asked someone in April on the messenger, they will find that it's a strange man is a strange person is um, sending me message. Should I respond? So they think. Mm. So then they probably they go to the Facebook and look, uh, what is this? Who is this? And then after a month or so, they will come back. And then they say, oh, what is your organization? What is the background? All sort of these questions. And then I uh, respond to them. Uh, so uh, some people uh, willingly respond. Some people don't. Um, but uh, up to uh, December 9th, we have um, we got have speakers. speakers and um, uh, maybe also December 16 there is one Muslim lady in Malaysia hopefully she will accept uh, the date she is expected to give a talk but she the date she has to confirm yes mm -hmm. it's nearly over a year now isn't it since it was started am I right in thinking yeah, <coughs> in November, more than in November we will be completing one year I think right. 19th of November we started last year. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so if, uh, but if uh, any one of uh, us here or in, in the group, if we know anyone who can uh, give a presentation that is good for bringing unity 
and whatever the topic that they think it is good for people to know, uh, uh, please invite them. Invite them or connect with me, then I can uh, allocate a date for them. So you're not asking basically for only for interfaith, like with the with the sort of with the, some sort of faith. You are happy with anyone you like that you're asking. It can be yes, anyone. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah, they don't have to uh, have a religious belief, no, because we are bringing unity of the whole world. Mm -hmm. Though this is an interfaith meeting, and where we want to bring understanding among the religious uh, um, beliefs. But we have to, um, they, they also have something to offer and also uh, to bring understanding about the uh, religious thinking that we have. Because I cannot say my understanding is right. <laughs> you know? Of course, yeah. So uh, all those in this planet Earth, they have some view about these things. And uh, listening to them, they also want unity. I don't think anyone there will say mm. don't want it. So they also have some view how to bring about. So by bringing them to talk, uh, we we understand more about the world that we are living in and uh, what are the other perspectives. Yes. So they don't have to be uh, belong any religious to, any, belong to a religion. Or um, believe in uh, the God that we that we believe in, and they uh, like Sachi. He has uh, a different view about what this God or whatever it is. So mm -hmm. uh, we are trying to understand his point of view, and probably he is trying to understand why. What are we trying to talk? So they, that's the kind of dialogue. Accepting everyone, yeah. Yes. Thank you. Mm. Just considering because it's, it must be a difficult thing. I thought to myself, thank yeah. you for that. Let's see, can we get an indigenous speaker? We know anyone who can. I am um, working on a couple of people. It will be very good to have them and they. There is a friend uh, of faith. I think she came one day. Yeah, she came yeah, she at the start. Me. I think now she is going through some difficult time. Eh? Yes. Uh, uh -huh. so, so, um, Sachi. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, uh, forum is a very very good and a positive one. I really like that because we are trying to uh, learn from everyone and uh, try to, our target is, our aim is peace and unity. Mm -hmm. I'm always worried about the result. Uh, are we getting hit or are we getting closer to that? Because all these years, I have been going through all the different uh, religious and uh, what do you call other um, Sai, Shimia, Vedanta, everything, and uh, for to all the lectures, and I was learning. So now we have come to the terminal. <laughs> it's another few more years to go. <laughs> Before that, if we can get uh, some result, I would be happy. That's why I was uh, in all this. Uh, I was about more or less a converted Christian for two years when I was in Kenya with my friends. They were all Christians. So we, uh, we didn't have any Hindu temple to go. I went there and uh, I admired. I loved Jesus. And one of my daughters is named Jesulada. Jesulada. Huh? Jesulada. Her name is Jesulada, Jesus Lada. Because I, well, I really like that, and then I like Buddha. In the others, they are, everything is good. They all are in for spirituality. But I thought we will have to, I, I thought for my opinion, I had to update. And I found this big bang coming in. 
recently. And it is answering all the questions. There are no unknowns in that. That's why I went into that. And I actually, I wanted to write a book on spirituality. I started like that. Mm. But when I was reading in the internet and other lectures and research papers and all, uh, my writing really turned mm. into the more or less like a scientific and historical yeah. uh, facts. Mm. And with this, I'm able to uh, live very happily in the sense I have answers for anything. So in case if somebody is sick at home, and that is uh, sometimes my wife used to complain that, oh, we are having a very bad uh, age and uh, trying to be sick and things like that. I know it is, you have to handle it, it's nature. You have to live as long as possible. Mm. You can't extend it beyond certain this kind of thing without, if you can get some scientific and medical help, is uh, unfortunately we are here. Mm. And we are able to get it, say, in this COVID also. We are waiting for a vaccine. You know, I know that is the only uh, thing which can help us. And we, I didn't mind taking AstraZeneca or something. And we took it. So that is the natural thing. So nature will try to press because it is the um, uh, first thing. And we just came. We are only here 100,000 years. So before that, the nature was there and it is doing so many things and there were five globular extinctions and the, uh, the uh, creatures and the plants came back and uh, we got evolved and we are here now. So we can't complain on that. Main thing is action. We have to do the appropriate action for any problems coming in. That's what, uh, so that's what is my nature. And that's why I consider nature as the God, because Jesus was telling about Father, and others were telling um, Allah or God in heaven and things like that. Mm -hmm. But so far, heaven is not found in, uh, by the cosmologists. Uh, so maybe this is the one. Nature is the one they were referring. And that time, unfortunately, they didn't have these tools and this thing for calculations and discoveries and researchers and things like that. So now we are fortunate in that also. This computer has uh, helped us to jump thousands of years in front. And after that only, they were able to even calculate the history of the universe and uh, Earth and things like that. So you only have one question to ask anyone is that, Human is here only for 100, 120,000 years as a homo sapiens or homo. But before that, we were not there, especially during, uh, say, dinosaur's time. Mm -hmm. So that time, how would I have been the god? That is a question I had. And uh, I had to come to uh, this. This is an evolution process. Tomorrow we may be like aliens. There will be no human. Because evolution is going like that. And so when it comes, how will be the God look like? That is so that was my question. That is why I'm in this uh, line. Otherwise, I can answer any question asked in terms of nature. <laughs> anyway, but our aim is good because we all have the common thing, spirituality. Mm. And our aim is peace and unity. So we can go like this, but we will be, we are all friends. We are very sportive. We are very diplomatic. And this is there. But will this work give a result to the globe or the, for the whole world? Because you know there are so many problems. It's growing. We had to do something for our future generation. That is why I'm interested. Otherwise, tomorrow we will be gone. I will, everyone goes in the same way. Yeah. I will not get some advantage or something. No. <laughs> Anybody is like that. It is a nature, so everyone has the same rule. It is fair. But the thing is, we had to do something for our future generation. Mm. 
we shouldn't put them in difficulties. And that is why I'm really interested still and trying to be on this. Hope something will happen and uh, changes take time. So we can't expect it immediately. Anything, uh, one day we will be united. Anything we can do uh, um, to change the way that we have this meeting? Any, uh, any suggestions? Yeah, that's what I want only answers. Say you, you, we all have questions. We are not uh, uh, um, what you call uh, learned everything. There's a lot to learn. Mm -hmm. But it, I don't like these unknowns. For example, say heaven, hell, mm -hmm. uh, rebirth, faith. They are all in, in terms of nature. They are not there. So I can't satisfy any answers. And if somebody can explain it, I am prepared to listen to them. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm over here listening to all the... It was going well nicely, okay. except for this one. Some questions should be answered. That's all. Okay. So if we can answer the same, uh, and, uh, put the same answer to a question, then we are united. There is no difference. Mm -hmm. There is no division. Yes. That's what uh, we have to bring it in. Yes. Our answer should be the same. Mm -hmm. That we will be like uh, brothers or more than that. <laughs> mm -hmm. anyway, we will, uh, you continue. You are doing a good job. And it's a good attitude. Mm -hmm. And we are knowing so many things. But uh, try to, we'll try to get a result, hopefully, after some time. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Nisha, uh, Vasanta. Mm -hmm. How about Tracy? Unmute. <laughs> um, look, I think we're doing a very... Um, you know, it is so important, as you know, Sachi just said, for future generations that we find the way that we can cooperate with each other, we can understand each other. And um, there's more to know than is known. That's my attitude. Yes, we have some ideas and each faith gives something, but when people think that they're the, uh, their faith is the only one that believes that and they've ex got some exclusive right on God, I think that um, they haven't listened to what other faiths have to say because <laughs> many of them have the same idea. <laughs> they, have, they have the answer, you know. But, you know, there is more to know than what human knowledge is accumulated so far. And we get, there's an accumulation of understanding. And the more we explore it with respectfully and with the aim of consulting and coming together, then I think um, we are creating possibilities for peace to be made for um, graciousness to expand, and that's a good thing, you know, and values. Um, more than our beliefs, mm. it's how we live. Mm. You know, everyone's mm. known the golden rule for a long time. Even, you know, Christians came to this country and brought the Ten Commandments, but they didn't live by it. It's don't steal, don't murder. <laughs> but... He still did <laughs> to Aboriginal people. So it's what we practice is more important than what we believe and what we say to other people that they should do. It's what we say to ourselves mm -hmm. to pull ourselves up. And it'd be nice to sort of um, find each other on the inner journey more, That's not just so external knowledge. Mm -hmm. You know, but how are we trying to embody respect more? How are we trying to embody um, having a family feeling, friendly feeling to everyone? You know, 
that's sort of that's where all the hard work has to happen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, overcoming those internal barriers mm. so that we can actually um, it's better to know less and practice more than have it's all in our head and not in our heart and not in our life. So if we could find ways of exploring how we're going in the living of it and how we can overcome the barriers, how we can cultivate that um, respect in the general, you know, I think that your attitude and the fact that you're reaching out to people and trying to get speakers and trying to get people to think about, well, what is, how does my passion contributing to a better world? I think that you're sowing good seeds, even if some of those people don't respond. Yeah. I think that you're doing good work, even preparing for this meeting, as well as what happens in it. Yeah. Because you're asking people, what are you interested in? You know, what do you care about? Who are you and how can you can contribute? And this is a little place that you can contribute, but you might have encouraged some people to contribute when they may not have done otherwise, you know? And it's an encouragement to have people willing to hear you. So. It's, 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 it's a challenge uh, when you say, uh, what we what we say and what we do to align both it's a big challenge um, and then you know, who pastor ray ray Mil milikon when milikon, he, milikon. yes when he was talking the other day in the conference he said that what he, he see outside was uh, uh, four things he said the um, ignorance people are not aware of what happened to the indigenous people they they don't know anything about indigenous people's history the sufferings their knowledge their spiritual in ignorance and then um, apathy mm. and arrogance and then mm. he said hypocrisy so mm -hmm. I think um, there may be in each one of us, or at least in me, there is an element of this hypocrisy. So I had to work constantly to come out of this uh, thing so that I actually uh, practice the way what I say, you know? So it is, this is a process everyone uh, has to go through, but, mm -hmm. But um, without uh, without criticizing or without alienating others, how to make them to understand? That's that is the other challenge. Now, someone is doing something like that, which is uh, not acceptable. Do we uh, lovingly? make them to be aware uh, how to or where to turn to or do we criticize mm -hmm. and so that is another challenge you know because uh, the moment that uh, i start criticizing whether directly or indirectly they take a defense mm -hmm. and then the distance is becoming wider and wider it's not easy to bring closer to. So that's, uh, that is a big challenge uh, for us, um, how, to, how to be patiently, lovingly encourage others who are doing things that we don't like, but make them to turn towards in the right direction. Yeah. <clears throat> But uh, yes, but uh, uh, you uh, with your um, women's reconciliation network, um, you are doing wonderful work too. And there are many uh, 
I mean, this is a women's uh, <laughs> uh, group, therefore they are all women, but it's amazing <clears throat> how steadfastly they are doing this and uh, try to bring these changes uh, to happen. Yes. But uh, what, what, what change in our uh, functioning has to be done? That's, that's a... <laughs> I thought once Colin said, uh, Perry, that we should uh, bring the readings a bit where we can finish by 8.30, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like to reduce the number. And I know it's hard to decide. I mean, you know, today, okay, there were six people and we went up to nine uh, readings. You had it. Yes. So I, I don't know how to sort of, do we have five? Do we have 10? Do, how do we choose the number? I don't know. <laughs> well, Even finding the readings is, is, is a bit difficult from other scriptures for us. Yes. Yeah, so that, Baha'i Baha writings, we have many, but from other scriptures, it is not that easy to find on different topics that we are selecting. So that is another challenge. Yes. Yeah, that's a challenge uh, to actually look for um, readings from other religions, other holy writings on particular theme that we have now. Today, we actually read about uh, consultation, but I couldn't find much um, in the other holy writings about consultation. Um, and uh, yes, we... we Probably we, sh we should cut the number of quotations. But I was thinking maybe we could choose one of the quotations and discuss about one of those quotations. Mm. Instead of reading 10, we can read mm. one and choose one quotation and then discuss what is this is trying to tell us or how to apply this or whatever it is. That may become more useful is it but that can't go with the presentation as well so that will mm -hmm. that will that will maybe like like a meeting like today we one uh, every three months or so we can have a meeting like that but when there is a somebody presenting a topic and discussing may may, may be in different directions Oh. Also, one of the things Tracy suggested earlier when we started this meeting, also to discuss about the virtues, for example. Yes, we remember that, yes. <laughs> so I think that is also very important that to, to bring, uh, we have to bring about these virtues so that we can put what we learn in practice, for example, forgiveness or getting rid of our ego, which is, which is, which because uh, so, sometimes we think that we know everything and what I believe is the right thing. So, so I should be, when we come to these meetings, we have to be open-minded and be willing to learn from the others rather than insisting and oh, that I am, without thinking that I am right and what my view is right. Mm -hmm. In essence, spiritually, all the religions, they are the same. They, they won't be much even different, but only the social aspect of it. So if somebody is presenting, for example, that last time when they were talking about the rebirth and the re, re, reincarnation or something, as Hindus, Buddhists believe different things, and Baha'is or Christians, they have different, Islam, they have different view. But we have to learn to understand how we, we, when we are in a religion, we accept everything as a whole package. We don't accept that one and leave the other. We have to accept it as a whole package and we shouldn't insist when others, are, others have a, a different belief. We don't know what's going to happen to us till we go, whether our understanding is right or not, we don't know. So we, we should be able to learn and understand. Hmm. If we go with the virtues once a month, that would be a bit better, isn't it? That's sort of more practical ways of using. We use the virtues in our life more than other 
presentation. Mm -hmm. I think it might be. I mean, you said once in three months, uh, Vasanta, but uh, mm -hmm. maybe yeah. I think that's more, you know, once a month would be a bit better, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Something for Perry also is, it's, you know, better because, you know, it's something like a discussion group if it comes Perry and you don't need to get a speaker for that yes. group day or whatever one, even if you say first Thursday of the month or last Thursday of the month or something like that. Uh, yes, that's uh, yes. And Nisha can... has anything to say? Nisha? Yeah, hi everybody. <laughs> Sorry, I was just listening because I, I'm, I'm just a new kid on the block. Mm -hmm. I really made a very late entrant into the meeting, but uh, I feel like I've learned quite a lot in the last couple of uh, meetings that I've had the opportunity to join. And uh, thank you so much uh, yeah, for allowing me to join, join this discussion. I find it very, very elevating, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what to say, apart from the fact that I hope it uh, continues into 2022. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I do agree with uh, the suggestions um, uh, made previously. I uh, that is, uh, I think once a month we can um, um, you uh, talk talk about one of the um, one spiritual quality or or a virtue or or something like that, and then on those on that meetings we could then read a set of quotations from various different faith and then uh, discuss those quotations maybe. Because um, I, think, I think probably one of the things that I find during the meetings is that I think a lot of us have questions and we want to um, ask the speaker and maybe the, the, the discussion time seems to be a little bit compressed sometimes. So uh, maybe we could make the reading of the, the 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 devotional section a little bit more a little bit more concise and then the presentation and then you know, I'm not sure what the normal timing is for the discussion but is it an hour or so? so we uh, we oh. typically we wanted to have the um, the devotional half an hour yeah. presentation uh, half an hour and the discussion half an hour but that's uh, typically we didn't. We don't in rigidly in <laughs> yeah. enforce yeah. it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I think it works fine. I think that half half an hour, half an hour, and then maybe half an hour, 45 minutes for discussion seems uh yeah. so yeah, seems decent. The presentations have gone more than uh, uh, almost close to one hour. Some presentations. Oh, okay. Mm. Some uh, uh, discussion have gone almost one hour, <laughs> things like that. Uh, yeah. um, and also the start time doesn't start exactly at seven o'clock. Yes. By the time we we, yeah. we get together and allocate the readings and everything, it gets up to 7 15, 7 20. Mm -hmm. So I think it's better that we can we we can allocate the start uh, early start on time. Yes. I will be uh, I I see when um, when I go to the Uluru statement meeting on Wednesdays. And they, um, <laughs> they start on time at seven o'clock. They are all uh, um, starting. That's crazy so, starting. Yes, that's <laughs> the way we should do. Yeah. So, um, yes, we have to discipline ourselves to do that. Mm. Uh, Bayan is coming just now. So continue, Nisha. Yes. Uh, what uh, anything to do? Uh, hello, Bayan. How are you? Hi, Bayan. Alapa, alapa. We are we are discussing. Um, um, we finished our devotional part, and we are discussing how to improve the this meeting. What ideas? So, if you have any ideas, you can share. Okay. So today you don't have any speaker. No. Okay. All right. And uh, Nisha, Nisha was saying something. Um, please continue, Nisha. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was, um, I was going to suggest that, uh, oh, well, just share my thoughts in the sense that I think it's quite, um, 
I think this interfaith meetings and, and uh, discussions are quite important for us to understand each another because it's not just about you know, accepting differences, but I think it should come to a point where we celebrate these differences, you know, because, um, you know, the end of the day, like, you know, all faith or religions essentially share the same message, all right? Mm -hmm. And every time these, every time religion, uh, you know, different religions have, have come through history, have come through time, they have brought about the same messages, but in a renewed fashion, you know, that is current to the um, modern civilization. Mm -hmm. And uh, essentially the principles of these religions are the same. And so we should respect uh, each another's um, 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 thought process, views, beliefs, and, uh, and, and perhaps learn from each another. That is why I found last week's uh, talk on the Mandean um, mm. religion very, um, very, very interesting. I, I, I've heard about them accidentally, and it was just, it's just funny how after so many years, suddenly you, you, you have this pleasant surprise where somebody's actually talking about it. Like, you know, it's there at the back of your mind subconsciously because you've seen it or it's, it's appeared, you know, suddenly. Uh, but it's interesting, interesting to, to learn these uh, uh, stuffs that are, you don't normally encounter. And, uh, and, then he's, and then when you have a chat with, these, uh, with, with, with the professor, you realize that like, oh my God, everybody wants the same thing. Everybody, you know, uh, um, um, wants to achieve the same stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think like, you know, we all have to work hard to overcome very superficial challenges to achieve unity. And Mr. Sachi was saying earlier that, you know, there are lots of things that we might not see in, in our current times, but we need to sow the seeds now so that the future generation will benefit from all this grassroots work that we are doing now, you know, to, to, to build a more vibrant community for the future, basically. So we may not be able to enjoy the fruits of our, you know, of fruits of the labor, mm -hmm. like, you know, how Mr. Siva and probably all of you in this platform has have worked very hard through it. But, you know, rest assured, you know, sometime along the future, people will um, celebrate and acknowledge your legacies. Um, yeah. 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 So thank, thank. Yeah. So thanks. Thanks for that. I think we. I think for all, all everything that we are doing is basic. All these efforts is basically to foster world unity, and it will eventually try, You know, be it will uh, materialize. Mm. Yeah. I just uh, just want to share because uh, one of the things that I learned from Baha'i writings, which actually changed my uh, view and how I want to approach. Uh, other friends and uh, other religions. So this is from um, uh, this, this is from the guardian of the faith, Shogyefin. Uh, he he wrote this. I don't know whether I shared with you before or not, but he said, "Nor does the Baha'i revelation claiming as it does to be the culmination of a prophetic cycle and the fulfillment fulfillment of the promise of all ages." attempt under any circumstances to invalidate those first and everlasting principles that animate and underlie the, underlie the religion that have preceded it. The God-given authority vested in each one of them, it admits and establishes as its firmest and ultimate basis. It regards them in no other light except as different stages in the eternal history and constant evolution of one religion, divine and indivisible, of which it itself forms but an integral part. It neither seeks to obscure their divine origin nor to dwarf the admitted magnitude of their cultural achievements. It can countenance no attempt that seeks to distort their features or to stultify the truths which they instill. Its teachings do not deviate a hairbreadth 
from the verities they enshrine, nor does the weight of its message detract one jot or one tittle from the influence they exert or the loyalty they inspire. Far from aiming at the overthrow of the spiritual foundation of the world's religious system, it's about its unalterable purpose is to widen their basis, to restate their fundamentals, to reconcile their aims, to reinvigorate their life, to demonstrate their oneness, to restore the pristine purity of their teachings, to coordinate their functions, and to assist in the realization of their highest aspirations. These divinely revealed religions, as a close observer has graphically expressed it, are doomed not to die, but to be reborn. Does not the child succumb in the youth and the youth in the man, yet neither child nor youth perishes? So uh, when I, first time I uh, read this, maybe about 20 years ago. Can you make it a bit bigger? Uh, when I when I read this first time about twenty years ago, my my approach, my <laughs> my attitude towards uh, other religious uh, people uh, changed a lot. So uh, <coughs> this particular one, far from far from. Uh, far from aiming to overthrow the spiritual foundation of the world religious system, it's avowed and uh, its unalterable purpose is to widen their basis, to restate their fund fundamentals, to reconcile their aims, to reintegrate their life, to demonstrate their oneness, to restore the pristine purity of their teachings to coordinate their functions and to assist in the realization of their highest aspiration. So I've, I've, I thought it is my duty to, to satisfy this uh, thing as an individual who uh, follow Baha'u'llah, then um, I had to try and reconcile the aims. I had to try to restore the Christian purity of their teachings. So this is how I have to, um, I thought I had to approach the fellow teachings, fellow religious teachings. Anyway, sorry, Brian was going to say something, so I... Uh, okay, what I want to say, uh, first of all, I would like to request you what you read, please share if you can send to me, I, I would like to have that one. This was my uh, first request. The second thing I want to say, the guy who was the professor from the Mandai religion, yes. he actually showed so much interest on the contribution of the, or sharing of the Baha'i community, uh, uh, you know, like working together with them. For example, I remember about the example of the ladies and uh, about the Baha'i community, the, the ladies, what they do, activity. And he was sh so much uh, showing interest to uh, you know, participate. The, the Mandai la ladies, women, also, also join or Baha'is join to them and working together towards uh, progress and you know, equal rights and activity. That was very interesting. Mm -hmm. which is a very positive person. Uh, despite I have met, met some Mandai, but they were never, they, these guys they never uh, showed so much interest talking to me about Baha'i faith. Mm -hmm. And you know, they didn't like to listen. Uh, yeah, as soon as I talk about religion, they try to avoid, you know. But this professor was very, very kind and very, uh, very, very positive attitude. Mm -hmm. He had a very positive attitude. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is because he is uh, he is a high priest, and he uh, is uh, he has learned a lot, and he, I think, he embodied 
uh, the teachings. So he is open his heart to everything. He's, a, yeah. he's allowing him to accept and cooperate and the oneness and unity is there. This, yeah. is, this is the challenge uh, every one of us have. That's we, correct. We were discussing earlier, you know, we, we as Baha'i, we say that we are um, we want unity and uh, we want to bring everyone together. But yeah. then, but then uh, um, uh, sometimes we say that uh, you you come in terms of our understanding. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. So yes. instead of trying to understand what they are trying to say, yeah. uh, we sometimes say that uh, we, we want to bring unity come into our understanding. Yes, we, yes. So they, we, the, our approach, we had to be open-minded. Our heart correct. should be open. Correct, correct. Yeah. So that, that is the challenge, yes. That's, that's the challenge. And I hope uh, the Baha'i community, uh, as, as uh, our Zoom, Zoom going on, I hope uh, really we can try to connect ourselves to any group of any religion, like uh, what Mandayan said, or maybe Christian, or maybe Hindu, maybe Buddhist. Mm -hmm. We should join them. You know, we should, we should work together for the harmony, for the, you know, peace. Yes, unless we understand See, the, uh, I, in, in my opinion, I believe yeah. every, every holy manifestation gave those teachings. They are pristine and pure. Right. But it is, at that point, that it, it became um, sort of uh, diluted or corrupted because of our understanding and how we carry it through generations. Yeah. So now... Now, therefore, we are only perceiving what the other person is doing or saying and say that religion, we attribute that to the religion. That is wrong. Mm -hmm. We had to attribute to that individual who has interpreted or understood in that way. Correct. And we do the same mistake. We are not fully understand what Baha'u'llah has said. Right, so we understood in our own way, and we are trying to live according to that and say according to what our understanding, and my understanding and your understanding is not exactly the same. True, very true, mm. very true. Mm. So, yeah. so how how we relate to others has to be changed, and uh, uh, Professor Nasoraya is at a higher elevated uh, state. So he is open to uh, accepting all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but someone who is uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, an uh, ordinary person in that uh, group may not be understanding that level. So, uh, and we, um, what is key is that we should not attribute that that difference to that uh, the holy writings or the spiritual leader, whoever who guided them. Yes. Right, right. Uh, uh, sorry, I have to go. I'm dry. I want to drive. I need to say goodbye to everyone. Sorry about that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Uh, if uh, if we don't have any any um, um, anything uh, important uh, to say, we can close. Um. Please, I don't have anything crazy. Who is Lenova Tab Three? That, that is, is my auntie. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she is a, a regular participant, but she doesn't. She's a regular participant, but very, <laughs> very silent. Okay. Participant. She doesn't silent. speak much English. Um, we can ask her to say something in Tamil, Basanta. <laughs> <In Tamil. laughs> she likes. She likes what we are talking, so she likes to participate. Yes. Okay. That's good. She, she's a, she's a silent. She... She's a silent participant. Yes. <laughs> I thought she hasn't had a chance to speak. I didn't want to leave her out. Or the, whoever Lenova was. She, she, she's happy to be quiet. Okay. <laughs> it was all... I, just, yeah. I, I just wanted to uh, probably ask um, if Mr. Perry knows anyone who actually uh, does a um, bit of this organizational psychology I uh, that is like 
you know, probably, you know, maybe a talk on like how to incul incul inculcate um, spiritual values in 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 organizations. Like, you know, you know, like um, so for example, like I work in a hospital, you know, I work for a big organization. You know, sometimes the well not sometimes, actually many a times, like you know, you you feel that there is, you know. How do I say? Like, um, I wish there was more spiritual attributes at work. You know that people practice more virtuous approach in their day-to-day -day interaction, not just with colleagues, but with, you know, say for example, in my situation, like patients and 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 you know other um, team yeah. members. Basically, sometimes it is just feels work is so business-like. You know, it's all about outcomes and 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 um, um, yeah yeah basically outcomes. But you know there is very little um, you know moral or et or ethics that is talked upon on a day to day basis. I'm not saying that we are not we don't practice ethics. We practice ethics at work. But I wish there was a little bit more spiritual involvement at work, like to create that, that, that spiritual environment at work as well, mm. you know? Um, so I'm actually kind of, you know, like, for example, if I would like to talk about, you know, for, um, um, say on a weekly basis, we have teachings, and the teachings are always on the clinical aspect of things. So we talk about a particular disease or treatment or, you know, research and stuff like that. But I would like to probably do something a little different with my colleagues. Mm -hmm. That is like, you know, maybe give a talk about spiritual, you know, uh, 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 well-being at work. Mm -hmm. How can we... Um, infuse these virtues on a day-to-day -day basis yes. you know and I want to probably you know make a different uh, uh, um, presentation uh, apart from the very clinical presentations that we have uh, so I was just thinking whether you know somebody could meet is there anyone out there you know who talks about these kind of uh, aspects in, in in the working field so for you to present to your your colleagues? No, I, I, uh, yeah, I was just thinking if I can draw some inspiration from uh, you know a speaker, maybe in the future that I could. Um, oh. Okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe yeah. Maybe do a talk like that in in my own workplace because you know it's like whenever you have teaching, whenever you have like educational sessions, it is always very clinical. People forget that part of you know your 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 work is also relationships with your colleagues and, and interactions and how we should, you know, uphold things like kindness and integrity and, you know, other, other kind of virtuous qualities that one should come with. Um, yes. I just feel sometimes work can be so competitive. Everything is on a very competitive basis. It's yes. like, you know, people, you know, people come to work with only one idea that what do I get out of the work today? It's never about what, a, what can I give to the work today? <laughs> you know, work should be in work should be a service, but I feel that there is a lack of that, uh, that attitude at work. Mm. And sometimes I find it a bit of a struggle when, you know, my approach can be a little bit different to day to day work as compared to some of my colleagues. You want to talk to them and give a presentation yourself, or you want somebody to do a presentation? Oh, I, I, I probably I'm just thinking that I would like to give a presentation, but I'm not sure how to actually yeah, then start I it think, or how to. You know, there yeah. is a lady, Di James. She is in Newcastle. Do, have you met her? No. Yes, she's a Baha'i lady. She lives in Machi. Was doing some. Thing to the uh, in this line with uh, some some of her colleagues in America. Okay. So, so she was uh, maybe you can just talk to her one day and maybe if possible we I will ask her to invite her to one of our meetings to give a presentation and then you can continue and with her. But that time I was working and I I I I I, I know I have met her very well, but. I think she was doing it as a, as a as a side business or something because it was uh, that is my understanding. I'm not hundred percent sure, 
but we, we, she was doing some of this uh, presentation with some colleagues in America. Okay. But ultimately what, you know, um, this uh, whatever we are following or um, faith or whatever it is, it is the transformation inside. Uh, if the true transformation has taken, then there is no uh, duality. Wherever you are, whatever you are doing, you are that same uh, person. You, what you do and what you say is uh, that. So we don't um, have uh, have a different mask at different places. So that that change, that transformation has to come from the heart. Uh, if that happens, then they want to apply that everywhere. Where, wherever they are, whether at workplace or whether at the supermarket or in the playground or whatever it is. Um, but yes, um, there may be some um, um, people. Yeah, I will keep, we will keep that in mind then. Yeah. Let you know, Nisha. We look for okay. someone uh, who can. But when I will try to talk to Dai James and get more details for you. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so. Maybe we can uh, close our meeting today. And I see anything you like to add, no? Um, is Sachi Marina? No, I'm all right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Marina. Wish That's you all okay. the best for, for your children exams. Thank and all. You. <laughs> yes, I gotta go. Yes. Sachi. Sachi. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. Chinnamma, bye bye. Thank you, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, good night. Bye. Bye. Good, good night, night everybody. Bye. Thank bye. you. Bye. Yeah, keep safe. Bye.